Yo, what is up guys? It is Vortex here and welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my layout that I currently am using for my restaurant. And I'm pretty sure it's the best in layout in the entire game. It's super, super OP. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so if we go into my restaurant right now, this is the layout I am using. Pretty sure this is the best layout in the whole game. I don't think there is a better layout than this actually. So as you can see, I'm pretty sure I have a 155 seats on my floor. I don't think I have any seats on any other floors. No, so I have no other seats on any other floors. And I have 155 seats per floor. So this money making method is absolutely insane. I'm pretty sure this is the most compact layout you can possibly make. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this layout. So yeah. Alright guys, so I'm going to be copying this layout from this floor. I'm going to be building it on a different floor. But I'll be building it the exact same way. I'll use tiki tables and everything like that. But you guys can use VIP tables if you have them. Or any other tables that you have. But yeah, I'm going to get into this. I'm going to go to my third floor. Make sure I have enough tables and stuff. I'm going to go to my floor 2 and actually pick up these tables. Because I think I might need a couple of extra tables. I might have to get a couple more. But I'm not completely sure. Hopefully I don't have to. But I might have to end up getting a couple more. So we're going to delete these tables right there there we go and we're gonna go to our third floor and yeah we have this little design right here that we did but we're going to start by putting down we are going to be doing these plants in the corners we do not need those at all same thing with the gumball machines we do not need these at all so we're gonna start by putting tables down along the edge just like this just put tables down make sure you have an extra gap right here for chairs so make sure you just put tables down as i said you can use roll tables or any other tables that you have but just put them all the way down like that and then we're gonna do it once again on this side make sure you put two spaces in between so you can have two sets of chairs on each side so just like that and then do it on the other side as well so put tables here 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 and just keep going down the row so once you've done this guys what you want to do now is that you want to put a table here a table here a table here and a table here and then so you can put chairs right here and chairs along both of these ends and then once you do that you want to put um one ta one table right here or actually i think since this is a third floor if you're using if you only have one floor i suggest you just have a table right here but if you're using a different floor but i suggest you don't do that if you're doing this method i suggest you do it on your first floor but if you're doing a second floor you can just put like two chairs or two tables like this like so and then maybe I think you can put two more down here so yeah you can do this if you want to but just for the sake of the video I think you should only be able to be doing this I think for my first floor I actually don't have that down or no I have it down like this so what I can do is that this is what I have down I can go to my third floor I have both of those tables down and then I have one in the middle like that and then on these sides I have my golden chip jars and everything else like that just to take up space so in the middle I'm gonna be taking my ovens and stoves and moving them up here to show you guys how I do this method I'm gonna close my restaurant right now just for the time being I'm gonna go to my first floor and take all of this stuff and move it up to the third floor alright guys there we go we're gonna go to our third floor right now and what you want to do is that you want to take all of your appliances I have Wait, for some reason, it's not giving me them. I have to rejoin the server. Um, yeah, I don't have my other appliances. There's a glitch right now, so I have to rejoin the server. So I'll be back in a second. Five minutes later. Hey guys, we're back in the game and our appliances have loaded in. So that's good now. So we can go over here. We can actually put down all of our chairs. I'm going to do that really quick to make sure we don't have any extra space. All right, guys, so we put down all of our chairs. So this is the little space you have for putting down all of your appliances. But usually, if you guys have, like, golden tip jars, I suggest you put them, put one right here or one right here if you have two just put them both down it doesn't really matter but if you just have one just put one down on either side and then for filling in the rest you should put like plants or something and then for the middle what you guys should do is that put your order stands in each or put your order stand in three corners just only three of them i use three but i think you can get away with using two if you want to but yeah i put down the stoves just like this so put down all of these stoves actually i'm not able to put one there and same thing with there so I need to be able to fit all of these other stoves in here. I, it's actually getting kind of hard to put them in. So put the, those down. And we can put the dishwashers in for these other excess areas. So yeah, there we go. I put all the stoves down. And this is the layout, guys. I should I should put my tip jars right here. I'll go get them right now and just put them down just to show you guys. And also, for these other four extra spaces, I just have jewelry stands. So I'm going to go to my third floor now and just put them down just to show you guys what I do. 
So I put two of them down right there like that, and I need to get my golden tip jars. I think they're in... So yeah, they're also glitched also, so I have to rejoin the game once again to get these golden tip jars back. Alright guys, our tip jar is loaded in now, and I put them both right in these spots. And behind these chairs should be your doors if, you, if it's on your first floor. But what I suggest you guys do is that you have two chairs right here, but if you need to leave, just delete one chair. And when you come back in your restaurant, you can replace the chair and put it back. But yeah guys, this is pretty much the setup. I need to close my, re my restaurant once again to get rid of everyone. But yeah, this is pretty much the setup. You have a little empty space right here. This is the only empty space in the whole restaurant. This is the only empty space. I don't think... You can do anything else with it and also for those of you that do not have the golden tip jar or any tip jars at all what you can do is that you can delete these tables right here and actually fit in an extra set of tables so just like that you can fill in both of those and have a little bit more space you can have an extra four seats in your restaurant so that's pretty cool but like i said if you have tip jars just put one set in the middle and you should be good with everything and there we go and i also miss a dishwasher i think Thing. Um, I think I accidentally deleted it, but our game is glitched once again. There's actually a huge bug going around So if you guys like delete ever delete stuff and it's not in your inventory It's just a really annoying glitch you have to leave and rejoin for some reason It's saying I have extra tip jars too. I don't know what's going up with this game right now But okay there. I don't know what is happening guys. This is a really weird glitch. I don't, it just keeps happening I have to keep rejoin once again Alright, now we can put the dishwasher down that was missing. So there we go. Now we have the completed setup. Oh, need to put a jewelry case right there. There we go. Now we have the completed setup. And I don't know why a restaurant's open. It keeps opening. But this is the full setup of a restaurant, our restaurant that we have. We have a whole two whole rows right here full of tables all the way down from wall to wall. And the same thing on this side. And then we have two sets here. So we have two tables here, two tables here. And then two tables here and one here with tip jars. If you don't have tip jars, as I said, just put two tables down just the same as this little column area. But yeah, the setup is super OP. Reason being because you can fit a ton of seats on your floor. So that means more customers will come in. And make sure you guys buy as many floors as you can. I mean, I have all 10 floors. But the more floors you buy, the more frequent you get customers. So I suggest you buy more floors, you can get more and more customers quicker and it's more efficient for your restaurant. And you can see in at the bottom, I have 1.5 billion cash. So I'm pretty stacked. I had this for a while. I was on the leaderboard. I was like 60th, but I've been, been grinding that game for the past like over a week or so. So I dropped down to off the leaderboard sadly, but I have 1.5 billion cash still. And I'm pretty sure there's a pretty good amount more than most people. So yeah, yeah, if you use this strategy, I got a 1.5 billion cash in a couple of days. It probably took around three days of grinding to get 1.5 billion cash. So you're getting a ton of cash each day you grind the game. And there's also another tip you guys can use with this strategy. I need to go, as you can see, for all of your other floors. Let's just say this is on my first floor, which it is. What you guys want to do for every other floor, let's just use this floor for example. You want to build this setup if you have, if you're using the advertiser campaign. So if you're using the advertiser campaign, I suggest you build this setup right here. It's super, super helpful if, you have, if you're using the advertiser campaign because the customers will go on each floor. And it's a lot, a lot more helpful. I'll just put all these chairs down just for an example to show you guys really quick. So I'll put all these chairs down like this and then we should be good. There should be one spot in the middle that's just left open, but yeah, this is a setup that I use when I use the advertiser campaign boost. As you can see right here, whenever you're using this, make sure you have this little setup on each of your floors because it can gain you a couple of more customers, which gives you a little bit more cash. But yeah, if you're not using the advertiser campaign, I suggest you do not use this because it can mess up. It will give, end up giving you less customers if you're not using the advertiser campaign. So I suggest if you're not using it, do not use this setup. Only if you're using the advertiser campaign, use that little setup I just showed you guys. I'm going to go to my 10th floor, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I'm going to activate all of this stuff. I'm going to use my wishing well. I got double profits and double profits again, and I can spin this. So maybe we can get advertiser campaign. I'm not sure if we can, but we can try our hardest. So we're getting a celebrity customer and double cash for five minutes. So it looks like we have double cash for 35 minutes now. That's pretty good, I guess, but it's also really, really interesting. But yeah, I'm going to delete this whole entire setup since I have it on my first floor. And I'm going to show you guys how much people are in my restaurant at a time. But yeah guys, here is the setup all done with that one empty space. I moved everything back to my first floor with all my royal items and stuff, so it's a lot better now. But it looks a lot nicer now, since I have all of these royal items down. I'm going to show you guys how many customers I can get in my restaurant at a time. 
Alright guys, so as you can see, this is my restaurant without any boosts or anything. It's pretty, pretty packed, and customers go come and leave super, super frequent. So you make a lot of cash doing this. You can see I made, I made 1.5 billion in around three days. Because I haven't really been grinding this game, but I only grinded for that not very long. But yeah, I made this much in around three days of grinding, so it's pretty insane how fast I've been getting this cash. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. I'll show you guys the layout that I've been using. And yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to work my way up back to the leaderboard or not. I'm not on the leaderboard, as you can see, if I just type something. I'm not on the leaderboard anymore, as I was before, but I'm not on it anymore. But I might try and grind and get back on the leaderboard. I'm not completely sure. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. And make sure you guys join the Discord server. The link is in the description. Make sure you guys get some Roblox merch. The link is also in the description. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 6k subs, and we're going so fast, guys. The sport is absolutely insane. So yeah, it's been Vortex, and I'm out. Peace!